Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of our account disabled payment failed. You will normally see something like your payment has failed. And as you can see on the screen, your last payment couldn't be completed. To start running ads again, pay your current balance. And you can see, maybe you may see something like pay now or resume ads or something like that. Now, what happened is that um this problem happens or this problem is caused if there is insufficient money in your account and especially if you are using an automatic billing what does that mean facebook is trying to deduct the outstanding debt you owe them but unfortunately there is no enough money on your account so they will have to disable it there are several reasons why this may happen and i will take you through all of them one at a time now the first reason, as I have mentioned, is insufficient money on your account. That's insufficient money. The second reason is that your card may still have sufficient money or there may still be sufficient money on your account, but your, your bank is withholding the payment. The payment is not authorized. That is why it is stopping. Yeah, these are the two major reasons. So what you will have to do is that you have to try if if it is insufficient money on your account then in order to prove whether it's insufficient money or not try paying um a smaller amount and see whether it will go or not so for example as you can see i want to click on i'll click on pay now the amount they were trying to deduct for example if if you normally scroll down you see payment activity and the payment activity the payment is as you can see ten dollars here that they were trying to deduct and it failed so i'll try to pay let's say one dollar and see whether it will be successful or not so as you can see that's one dollar i'll click pay now as you can see the one dollar has been successfully paid so what it means is that there is probably no enough money to pay for the total amount and as the one dollar is being deducted if you check your bank account um transaction history or you may get a notification or text message or email telling you that a certain amount of money has been deducted on your account for your uh for facebook ad payment and you will see the balance whatever uh, balance will be in your account or whatever amount is deducted you can now tell okay this is the amount they are deducting for one dollar so if, for example, uh, your ad account currency is in a different currency, so let's say, uh, your, uh, sorry, your ad account currency is in dollars and your bank currency is in a different currency, let's say um, Indian rupees or maybe South African rand or Ghana city or Nigerian naira. So if that is the case, what you can do is you can try, you, you will now know the exact amount they are deducting for $1. So you will now have to calculate how much you will need in order to be able to pay the total amount that is left. That is what exactly you should do. Because sometimes if your ad account currency is in a different currency from your bank currency, the, the, the charges, the exchange rate may be different from what you have calculated. So the money may not be up to the total amount equivalent in dollars that you are going to pay it may not just be dollars it could be any other currency but what i'm trying to explain is that make sure that you know how much they are charging if the currencies on uh, are different on your other account and bank so that you know exactly the amount that is there in some cases some of you your bank maybe the minimum threshold so let's say you have 50 dollars in your bank and then you are supposed to pay facebook uh maybe 45 dollars it may be that your minimum threshold must be more than maybe let's say twenty dollars. So your for, your fifty dollars that you have, all of it, you they can't use forty five dollars to pay because what um, the amount that will be left will be less than the minimum threshold. So in that case, the bank will re, would withhold the money. Now, if you try a smaller payment and you have money in the account and it still doesn't go, you can still go down. You can still go to other smaller. So, for example, let's say you try paying $5. It doesn't work. 
uh, two dollars it doesn't work you, one dollar it still does not work then means that there is a different it's a different problem once you have money and it's still not going it's a different problem so in that case it could mean that the bank is withholding the payment the bank is withholding the transactions so uh you could contact your bank and ask them why it is going so so in, in some cases they will indicate to you or they will show you some banks may let you apply and fill a form for them to activate your 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 debit card for online transactions or what they will simply do is to show you how to in fact it could be some problem in their system they will have to rectify it so that whatever is withholding the transaction uh, it will be released so that anytime you try again it will go through the last option that i will advise is that sometimes some people may try to pay the exact amount they are owing and in some cases it could be the reason why your payment will fail so for example you are paying let's say we owe 9.13 dollars don't try to pay the exact amount that you owe try to pay in the nearest whole number to the amount you owe so for example you owe 9.13 dollars try paying nine dollars you pay 10.2 dollars pay ten dollars you pay 18.4 dollars pay 18 dollars that's what you should do so this one for example i want to try again and you see something so instead of the 9.13 i'm going to pay nine dollars so when i try for example okay so they're saying that i have to wait for up to five minutes before um i can try again but the truth is that um, yeah, so sometimes when you try and it's not up to five minutes, you can't pay again. So I will wait up to the five minutes. But if you follow the procedure, you will be able to get your payments done and your problem resolved and you can advertise again. Um, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. Leave your comments in the comment section. If you follow this procedure and you don't get a solution, um, you can also follow the WhatsApp link to WhatsApp me. You can follow our website link to go to our website to see all the offers that we have including a full course on how to advertise and make more sales on Facebook. Then you can also follow our website to also contact us on WhatsApp to book a Zoom meeting or to book a meeting to our website for us to help you get a solution, a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting so that we can help you get your problems resolved. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe once again and like this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.